Okay, hello, and today we will look at some more examples of potential out-of-place channels, and we'll go over to Google Earth and look at these. Uh, India, we'll check, check this out real quick. Mexico, Lake Junin, we will look at New Jersey as well. Um, uh, Delaware, uh, Florida, India, Argentina, we'll go over here and take a look. Iraq, we'll take a look around this lake. Laguna Beach, this groove. Uh, I may or may not take you over here in Google Earth. Yonaguni, Northwest Island in Australia, Lake Superior. And then we will finish off with this uh, channel in Iraq. Okay, so uh, let's hop over to Google Earth. Let me get back to that first image here of India. Okay, so we're going to go look at this. And if you've watched the New Earth channel, YouTube channel, um, there, uh, she shows a lot of good examples of potential out of place channels or channels uh, left from a previous era or project and I I'll be honest I don't know um, this might be another thing that's just modern activity um, we do see some potential remnants like this grid pattern and just little stuff like this that uh, may be indicative of, I don't know, some other aspect to this channel. But we've got this channel on the interior here, we've got this channel here, and it doesn't seem to be in use. I could be wrong on that, but at least the... Uh, uh, it's eroding away and not being particularly maintained, which doesn't mean it's part of something weird, but, uh, yeah, this might be another modern, completely modern thing, so I don't want to spend too much time on it. Um, what else we got? Channel. Yeah, it goes all along the coast, and what was I just looking at? Oh, well, whatever. But yeah, we have the, the channel, potential old grid or whatever, potential, like, parceled land or whatever. All right, um, I've already showed you this area pretty much, so uh, let's go over to... Uh, Mexico and look at a similar thing in Mexico uh, a similar channel goes all along the coast here up into Texas and the US or the, yeah the East Coast as well and I don't know if this whole Mexico stretch of it was also built by the US Army Corps of Engineers but uh, well here it is for your consideration and yeah like this, this little there's lots of uh, mini associated uh, offshoots and little straight bits like maybe not but like this I don't know this, not sure if this is river or channel, but just kind of what's going on here. I don't know. All we got is 2009. Actually, well, uh, 
I'm kind of just like gritting my teeth through this uh, segment of the uh, uh, out of place channels and or um, uh, anomalies because I, I can't really show any super strong examples and whatever patterns were there potentially uh, there's so much activity in the area that uh, we can't really parse out what's modern and what's not like stuff like this like the straight line here bothers me a little bit 2007 eh. And who knows? Yeah, just the edges of this channel not appearing to be maintained. Like it starts and stops and it'll like pick up again some places. This barrier here, or it may be the edge of the channel, not sure. There we go. Here's some more of it here. Uh, yeah, I mean, crap, I don't know, looking kind of newish here. I mean, maybe it was built in the 1980s or something, and then they just haven't bothered to maintain the banks of it. That makes some sense. Or, I just threw a number out, but 1940s or whatever. Um, okay, let me take a quick look here. This lake looks like it might be shallowing out or something. Um, all right, well, I don't have anything super definitive. And this, these bumps are like looking kind of like the spoil banks or spoil piles, but this isn't appearing to be a channel, which is interesting. Uh, this, I would say, looks almost like what I'm calling the, the clean swept coastline mm. but not necessarily by anything other than a dredge and then we have this path through here apparently I would say so is it sculpted by just modern stuff okay <laughs> this is getting really ridiculous it's like this this block is uh, showing up generally right where I'm trying to look uh, but yeah in this kind of linear or angular aspect to this could be modern I don't know not much change to the coastline over the last 10 years at least looks like it stayed pretty much the same and again even these angular patches of cleared out area, I'm not too sure about, uh, but yeah, this path here might be like an out of place channel, or it might be something conventional, just looking for more channel here, and uh, Alright, I don't think we're going to make any progress here, so I'll wrap up this segment. Um, pattern overgrown. Kind of, eh, maybe, I don't know. Alright. India, Mexico, uh, Lake Junin, similar thing. This may be uh, channeled for depth, but then we also have the, all these other little channels which could be for drainage or tidal management or some kind of agriculture or transportation 
but they they just have a strange look to them and strange orientation and a pretty vast area with just tons and tons and tons of little channels everywhere uh, so um, yeah let's go over here Lake June in Peru All right, so let me hide my place marks so you can see what's going on. And so we have this river, and then it uh, has an artificially channeled aspect to it. Like we have all these little things, and then here we see the bank looking more, um, there we go, artificial here, and yeah, so these clear, clearly either dredged or uh, here we see an angular change of direction, slight change of direction, and then another one across here, and see I, this this one doesn't strike me as uh, for transportation because there's no real clear end point for this for this uh, channel here unless this is image uh, artifact this one that's possible actually uh, Historical image is not particularly helpful on this one. <laughs> um, but yeah, see, even like this little thing, like all these little channels. So I'm more, so we were looking at India and Mexico, and I'm more confident on this example than on those ones. Just these strike me as um, gratuitously many channels and paths in the area um, not to mention this big one here and then uh, got this channel here could be drainage or mm, I don't know about tidal management this is a, a lake and we've got even these uh, stretches of river in some spots aren't, aren't looking entirely natural to me like kind of more like a some kind of path and we've got this very very long one which goes all the way over here see it's natural here and then it kind of straightens out or seems to and it just keeps going straight and stuff like oh uh, never mind I was gonna, thought we were looking at something angular uh, but yeah all these mini channels and offshoots parallel channels and multiple directions We've got this way got this way Just a little angular thing here uh, and obviously people in the area so who knows, could just be older conventional activity. Um, but yeah, it's almost hard to zoom in on a spot without little angular channels or uh, ridges or indentations or whatever it is like here. Just all over the place, kind of wonky river paths. Uh, Like this, even like this angular thing, like that doesn't appear to be practical for any. And this line here, a lot of subtle, like overgrown stuff, like you may have to squint or at least go full screen to see what I'm talking about. Um, this guy, 
see where it ends up. See, if they went all the way through to somewhere, it would make more sense to me, but they just kind of fizzle out. We see like a portion of it here. And here, this thing. It's almost like quasi natural, quasi artificial. Uh, mostly artificial channel patterns like this this here might be drainage just this appears to be originating over here like here what is this just nothing really um, okay, so you get the picture here, many channels, some of it's like the cracks from the natural mud flat area, perhaps, or whatever this is, but for the most part, I don't think so. Yeah, like this channel here. See that? I would call that an out of place channel because it's interrupted and so it's not used for transportation. Uh, it's looked fairly similar for a while at least. Um, okay. It just kind of starts back here and then continues so I think I can, can f and you can see indications of it here like it's still along the same line so here here we go it's kind of see faint continuations of it possibly here as well so I think I can fairly confidently call that an out-of-place channel or inexplicable channel. If you want to call it a channel, you could call it something else, but it's awkward to me. And then all of these channels as well, which I don't know. That's a little tougher to call. Um, and it could just be the water level changed and this, this, these channels were more useful like 80 or 100 years ago or something, but the water level has made it look weird, or the change in uh, habitat or whatever. But we do have all these wavy patterns, which is to be considered. Um, and I have, I have my place marks off right now, but there's a whole bunch of weird stuff in the area. Um, Uh, straight channel, squiggles pattern, line, the, uh, yeah, it's a tough call. That could be modern. I don't know. Weird pattern. Hmm. It's a, uh, it's a little weird, but like these lines here, these worked over lines like these yeah this underlying squig squiggly squiggly patterns uh, fairly ubiquitous in the area possible stone circles even uh, so the obviously Peru's got a lot of weird landscape going on. Here's that goofy um, this. So I mean, <clears throat> I bring this up just to uh, 
possibly draw a connection between the channels and the, the weirdness terraforming project. Because even though the channels might not look particularly strange in some cases, they might be part of the uh, inexplicable uh, terraforming thing. Yeah, so the polygonal and goofy rounded weirdness and patchy strangeness all over. Uh, so I think we have some out-of-place channels in this area, and toolpath, I don't know about toolpath, perhaps, but yeah, this right here, not looking like a practical feature, but there it is, fairly straight, straight-ish. And all of these guys, this straight thing here. So a lot of people would say this is like uh, remains of ancient uh, human civilization, like the pre-Inca or whatever lost civilization you might say. I don't know if that's possible. Um, I tend to think there's just some kind of ongoing reworking and, or like, just generation and re reworking of patterns or civilizational aspects, like, uh, organized and implemented by some AI, which uses methods that are kind of beyond our understanding, or, like, the reasons it does what it does, like, would be perplexing to us, but um, it's just got some big, gigantic set of um, association matrices to get kind of mathematical and nerdy, but uh, just whatever it's trying to achieve, um, it achieves by doing this continual revamping of civilization, both on the Earth's surface and in uh, uh, human affairs and in architecture and all that, but yeah, just food for thought. Okay, let's leave this area and uh, go to my images. Where else are we going to look? So New Jersey, yeah. Um, so a couple possibilities here. Uh, I asked around on uh, the Google Earth Pro boards um, and some people responded, looks like it could be title management here on this area we have it, and on this area we don't. This is New Jersey, I believe. Um, so uh, to manage the inflow and outflow of tides and uh, reduce the impact on the environment or whatever, uh, or reduce land loss or whatever they're trying to do. Um, annual reed harvest, somebody said. Yeah, it could be like... Uh, reeds, like water reeds or grasses or any type of plant that is harvested for uh, use in whatever, you know. Uh, but maybe that's grown in these, along these paths, or these paths are cut to, to access the reeds or whatever they're harvesting. That's possible. Uh, drainage. Um, yeah, I tend to think it's, it's probably some type of modern management of water level or drainage or tidal, tidal management that makes sense. Uh, and we see a very similar thing in Delaware we'll look at. And it's basically all along the East Coast and Florida as well. Um, and a lot of other places in the world as well. It's pretty ubiquitous looking. And it's on lakes too in some places. So that's to be considered. No, it's not just ocean areas. And then we'll look at this place in uh, Florida, which is apparently an abandoned rice paddy, which incidentally it doesn't look like it's, uh, it's eroded much or changed much in appearance in over 150 years, which may or may not be surprising. I don't know. Uh, and yeah, let's stick to these examples for now. So let's go to New Jersey. Uh, 
right. So now I'm here. And New Jersey. Somewhere around here. I'm not super up on my geography. Here we go. Um, yeah, just the gridded... Uh, either title management or something, or the protocol, the weird terraforming protocol, which may or may not be ongoing. Um, yeah, I, I don't think you can make the case that these are navigation channels, or for uh, for boats mostly, because there's seems like there's way too many of them, and they kind of dead end in some spots. So it's uh, more likely that it's either some type of land management or water management, like draining or maintaining a, a particular level of inflow and outflow. It seems somewhat um, likely. And then we also have to consider these goofy little ponds that are, uh, like I showed in a previous video, they are popping up um, recently in some cases. So they're somewhat fresh and new over the last 20 years or so, some of them at least. Um, but we do see some changes in the historical photos to these gridded areas in some spots. Uh, 95 looking pretty similar. So I don't know when these were made or how how thoroughly they're maintained but this is what we have in New Jersey and all along the uh, East Coast like New York as well um, someone mentioned I think that it uh, it gives the water access to the land which I don't know, it has some effect on the land which makes it more desirable for one purpose of another or or another one purpose or another and stuff like this yeah I mean you see bumps along the side so it, it was dug at some point or dredged like, I don't know that I well I mean yeah I don't have the the definitive explanation yet, but I'm still wondering what's up. Yeah, here's, I think we're in, what, Long Island now or something? I don't know, New York. The Hamptons area has this as well. Lots of lines. So we might call this out of place channels just because it seems a little goofy. Go to 1994 and see what looks pretty similar. Could be exploratory, like oil or natural gas exploration. Uh, just on a hunch, doesn't strike me as that. Could be prepping the land, but then we have these uninhabited areas that aren't uh, being developed, that have all these patterns through them. So my best guess is that these lines are part of the uh, the protocol, as I'm calling it, somehow, which utilizes both gibberish and, well, a whole bunch of methods. Uh, and I'll get into the big picture stuff, the big picture stuff more uh, pretty soon. And presumably this was all uh, connected land uh, in the recent past, and then just land loss has made it look like islands that are uh, um, yeah, so that's I guess these were all um, one big area of uh, crisscrossed land with these channels, and land loss has uh, since made them into islands. Um, so let's look at how much land loss has occurred since 1994, which I guess would be almost 30 years now. Um, not much. Yeah, not much. So that's interesting. Yeah, not much of any. Uh, 
Yeah, so not much change in the coastline, at least in this area, in the last 20 to 30 years. Probably because of this, these barriers. I don't know if these barriers will, were built somewhat recently, and then that uh, slowed or halted the land loss. Um, yeah, a whole bunch of grooves, even like this. Here, uh, never mind. <laughs> Sorry, that's a fishing thing. Thought it was a, a channel. Okay, I mean, you get the idea. And then same thing all along, I guess, Massachusetts and Maine and what else we got in Canada, maybe? I don't know. Um, wide artificial channel. Let's go look at that real quick. Mm, some straight channels here. Like like this even, who knows? Like even like these tick marks and like look at this, <laughs> like this angular uh, riverbank here. Maybe something is dredging the area. Um, just a modern thing. Yeah, the uh, the parallel aspect to it. You see it kind of extending to the onto the land. Um, I don't know how recent any of this is. So unfortunately, I can't give you any confident assertions about what this is, because it could certainly all be modern stuff of some kind, and it also might be part of this very odd protocol. Like, uh, even stuff like this, like it's subtle, but like this straight edge, <clears throat> if you kind of, I mean, not that rivers can't naturally be straight for a bit, but sometimes it just irks me a bit, like the weird angularness of it, and even this like this, faint, faint lines like that. Um, parallel grooves, whole area, yeah, like you see these I'm not seeing this here as particularly pragmatic title management. Like, see this? Is this title management? I don't think so. Are, are you with me on that one? See what I mean? Like this across here. I'm not seeing that as uh, title management. Mm. Drainage, maybe, yeah, maybe. Like this, I don't know. Like, I can see some of these as drainage. That makes sense. But then we have just like random little uh, additional angular features or linear features that don't add up to me. One thing that occurred to me is they're trying to like increase the surface area or the, the, the amount of land that the water has access to. So they just dig all these random little channels. That would kind of make sense. I don't know why they would do that, but there might be a good reason to do that. Like this here. Like, it's just like the, the plot of land is an extension of this. So it could just be from when the whole area was bulldozed and prepped for development. Uh, something like that. But I don't think so. I think it's part of weirdness. Um, where, where we looked at New Jersey... Delaware, similar thing. Um, manufactured river bend. I mean, maybe, yeah. Let's see, do we have any channels in the area? The intercoastal waterway goes all along the east coast. Let's see if I can find it. Kind of stopping and starting 
that and that uh, intercoastal waterway uh, is um, may or may not be part of this weirdness project. Um, see, like here's what I would say is an obviously artificial aspect to this this like wide channel here, but then you just look at the sim similarity of the aesthetic of this wide straight channel to the rest of the river it looks kind of similar so it's like like are they and then we have like this almost along a straightish path so it's i mean it's certainly possible that it's a natural formation and then modern people come along and <clears throat> uh do their editing to make it navigable and usable for modern purposes. Uh, this little guy here. This. Yeah, I mean, this might be for navigation. But like stuff like this where the it turns straight for a while. Like, I don't know if uh, if I believe that that's just a, a dredged or uh, uh, maintained uh, part of coast or artificially edited in modern terms for modern purposes um, and like just this little thing there and that's why I say cartoonish because there's lots of weird squiggly like, a, my best guess, as uh, crazy as it sounds, is that all these little rivers are, um, they may be um, mimicry of natural river patterns that form. And then in addition to that, there's the, the natural weathering that happens to them. And then here, yeah, we have the, uh, the lines again which may or may not be tidal management or any of the other possibilities. But see, like, like these little tick marks, all of this, like this doesn't go all the way through on either side. Like, same thing here. So it's, so either it's like exploratory, like somebody looking for something. Um, or, uh, crap. Or again, the surface area thing, maybe. <laughs> like, I, I get really, like, almost frustrated and almost anxious. And, like, it's like a weird emotion. Like, like angry, frustrated, uh, perplexed, confused, for sure. Frustrated because I can't. Like, it's obviously s strange, like, eh, 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 but there's also potentially valid um, down-to-earth explanations or less sensational explanations. So, yeah, I w I'm still saying these are out-of-place channels, or at least there's a strong chance that that's the case. And then, um, just trying to give you a, a view a sense of the scope of it. Um, and then I'm also considering that the uh, the rivers we're seeing in the area are uh, artificial as well. So like when we see something like like these even just considering it not 100% I, can't, I, re I really couldn't put that out there confidently super confidently at least but like this like this is a perfect z example like this is looking fairly um, like I would say it still looks cartoonish but you could certainly make the case that this is just a natural river bend um, but then it gets like straight here and like eh, like angular straight river bends or it's straight for a portion and uh, 
I don't know, maybe modern efforts just decided to maintain a part of the river, but uh, like even like this like angular thing or something. So that's why I think an AI or some, some type of um, super algorithm with lots of computing power um, made kind of like a mishmash of natural and artificial patterns and some more artificial looking than others and some more natural looking than others as part of some comprehensive uh, management of Earth in general uh, as a whole system. Hopefully that made sense. And I don't know how glitchy this is going to be on the uh, screen recording. See, I mean, it could certainly be natural, but this looks like a, like almost like a tube of toothpaste type of uh, comical exagger exaggerated river bend pattern, if you can follow me on that thought, uh, or train of thought. Mm, maybe scoopy scoop scoop. These are interesting patterns. Uh, could be natural. But yeah, I'm gonna, if you can uh, bear with me for a second while I drop a place mark. Um, sorry for not editing my videos more lately, but it takes, it makes like, it takes me like 10 or 20 X longer to put out a video if I edit it heavily than if I just put out the stream. So it's the, the recent videos might be a little rough around the edges and some of them I'll edit a little bit, but okay. Um, it's getting pretty long already, but sometimes I think you have to go in depth on an area to get a good feel for what's going on. Yeah, I'm, I'm using the C word here, cartoonish, with uh, out of place channels interlaced, perhaps. And let's go down to, um, down the coast to Florida. Maybe look at the intercoastal waterway. Yeah, like see here it is. Um, so it's looking like the India and Mexico one, possibly, um, I mean, that's not necessarily an indication of strangeness, just because it resembles those other places. Obviously, similar methods are used around the world, but um, anything interesting here? You've got like these channels with the spoil piles around. See, I think just because these are artificially dug channels with spoil piles doesn't mean they're not part of this um, strange protocol. Um, and I would see, I don't, I don't know about the depth of the area, I think, or I don't really have any information on it. So I think it does make sense to dredge and continually redredge these banks or channels for uh, depth so that navigation can occur. And briefly, let's just look at the, uh, surrounding area, see if we can see any weird uh, straight lines or anything. Nothing's jumping out at me. Um, but yeah, this is the intercoastal waterway and won't waste too much time on it, but it, mm, uh, apparently it was done <clears throat> in the last 100 or 150 years by the Army Corps of Engineers, something like that. And that may be true, certainly. All kinds of other weird lines or fine, finer lines here we see. These look pretty crisp, so I wonder if they're recent even. We see the tick marks on the side, which is to be considered. Uh, I think the bumps here are just trees um, or vegetation 
or what look like bumps from above. So it's it's just trees, I think, here. But yeah, lots of little channels and like these dredged areas like around this. I don't know what the reason for that would be, but apparently there's some reason to, to dredge this whole area. Lots of little channels. Hmm. Ancient channels? Maybe. How ancient? I don't know. This is interesting, whatever this is. Um. Okay. Let's look at that real quick. Lines are modern activity. It's possible that there's some underlying patterns in the area. Like, see this? It's kind of subtle, but these two lines here. It's really tough to say. So, um, I think now I want to show you that Florida rice paddies area, the wild, uh, white oak conservation area. And while I work my, my way over there, I'm just kind of looking for any indications of weird out of place channels. Or lines. And yeah, there are some areas that are untouched by those lines, like this. We're not seeing those those parallel lines here, interestingly. Or just for for consideration. Mm-hmm. Like here we have the channel cutting through, just kind of barreling through the natural river. Just, uh, I mean, that makes sense. It does make sense. And, hmm. Just observing these streaks or former river bends, river loops. And... All right, let's go. There's, I mean, in case I haven't made this clear already, there's really too much to cover <laughs> with this phenomenon. Too many areas, too many place marks, too many um, case studies and mini case studies. Here's a, a cool one. I, I'm glad I landed here. Uh, this is pretty, okay. So, this is a good example. I think we're in Florida right now. Let's zoom out and see where we are. So you can check it out yourself if you want. Yeah, just above Florida and Georgia, I guess. But yeah, this coastal area with all the lines, plethora of very many lines and angles. And, uh... Yeah, so there you have it, whatever that is. Looking very much like the rice paddies that we'll see in a minute, in, or former rice paddies that we'll see in Florida. Uh, allegedly. So I think a lot of this stuff is branded as many mis miscellaneous um, explanations, like the rice paddies possibility. It could just be like a false history plastered over the top of whatever's really going on. Or it could be rice patties. I mean, yeah. So, yeah, all these working over patterns, not just in the wet areas, but in the drier areas as well. You see the pattern, or the parallel lines fairly ubiquitously fairly widespread. Uh, 
farm. Yeah. Could be an old rice farm. Maybe not. Yeah, lots of little angles, nooks and crannies. I know I'm repeating myself, but if it's just a silent scroll around, it might be like even more boring. <laughs> so I'm trying to just kind of yap over the top of it. Um, yeah, these channels and, and schnizzle. It's trying to give you a good feel for it. Man. So where were these placements? All right, so yeah, this this looks pretty weird to me. Just these uh, indentations or grooves or channels, I guess you might call them, like this kind of natural channel following a straight path. Um, how long ago were these done? I would guess pretty long ago, or at least a hundred years or more. These faint tick marks or parallel lines. Even like the wavy stuff, like uh, this may even be part of it, part of the artificial aspect. We've got these kind of more uh, parallel tick marks or grooves here, and certainly these artificial channels here. Uh, but even like these wavy things might be like a slightly less uh, blatant or uh, yeah, slightly less blatant uh, artificial pattern, but it might still be artificial, you know? Circle here, looks like. Circle. So let's just briefly look at a historical photo of this area, see if we can get a sense of what's going on. And the, let's see if we can see any uh, coastline change, first of all, um, from 1988. That's pretty far back, almost 30, 40 years. Uh, so the coastline is looking pretty consistent. We're not losing or gaining much land in the area. And these channels appear to have been there back in 1988, it looks like without much change, as far as I can gather at a first glance. 99, and then it's just slowly, yeah, er eroding or overgrowing or um, just kind of sitting there and weathering away. But yeah, like this thing, let's look at this. What, what did this look like in 1988? Just like a random channel on the land, it looks like. Okay, um, so these could be old farms from like colonial times. I should say that. That's a very strong possibility, at least. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a good possibility. Like old farms or... But just the scope seems like too much for the, the population of the times. Like this, this, the amount of working over of the land or tilling or uh, the, the parallel lines and channels and everything, it's, it seems like it might be too much for, for the population. It's looking like an angular kind of lake here or channel. Um, so if it is conventional human, uh, you know, American Revolution era, like 1700s, um, early America activity. It just seems like there might be too much of it for uh, for the amount that we're seeing and the population that existed at the time and the technology they had. I mean, if you ask me, I could be wrong on that. Maybe my intuition's off again. But... Uh, maybe even these rivers, cartoonish, perhaps, or edited. And let's see, I don't know if we're seeing that same pattern here. This is looking a little more natural, I think. Okay. All 
All right, let's go to that uh, white oak conservation area. Okay, here we are. So this, uh, this according to Wikipedia and some other articles I was reading, this white, uh, white oak conservation area near Yulee, Florida, I, apparently, is uh, uh, around 1850 or a little before, I think. These were abandoned as old rice fields. And then here we have this pattern remaining. And this isn't exactly like the pattern we're seeing in New Jersey and else, elsewhere, but it's, it's, there's a lot of similarities. And again, if we are dealing with this strange um, artificial management of Earth from some kind of otherworldly force or uh, um, program, um, then then we are we are seeing like variations on a theme mapped to multiple different domains or like variations on a method. So just because this doesn't look exactly like the, the New Jersey and Delaware parallel lines doesn't mean it's not part, like a variation on the same type of pattern or something like that. Uh, I mean, highly speculative, obviously, could certainly just be a rice field. I mean, they had to eat back in the day. So, uh, but again, we're going to see similar patterns to this over here. Um, which, I don't know if this was a rice field as well. It's not looking like it, but see, we have this straight channel, if you want to call it a channel, or a straight stretch of river and faint parallel, like it's pretty faint, so you'd, you would have to be full screen to see this one, but faint line there. Uh, and real quick look at historical photos. See how long it's lo looked like this. For a while, at least since 1988, looked relatively the same. Okay. And these are just some random zooms that I found this phenomenon, but like here, like pseudo straight, or not pseudo, but um, kind of straight, somewhat straight uh, lines here. See where else we see it. Like even this might be an artificial channel. Maybe modern, maybe not. Potential cartoonish river here. Like, yeah, I would, I would once again postulate or propose that this, many of these rivers might be just artificially uh, doodled with some high technology. Here it turns straight, but that's likely modern channel. Like this channel here is obviously straight and artificial. And then, it, uh, so, okay, so here's the natural path of the river, I think. And then I think modern man just jumped in here and uh, took the natural river path and made a artificial channel for our purposes, it's likely, but it's also possible that these channels are part of some kind of weird thing, straight patterns here across, like a double channel here, kind of strange if you ask me, like even this is a little weird to me, and I have a lot of place marks in this area, I think. So let me get to some of them. Well, first of all, the straight patterns here. More of that. Whoops, sorry about that. So I'm just looking here for more parallel patterns. Even these, like, those look fairly natural, actually, but and like this here might be like an artificial path of some kind. And I know it's not all channels, and this is a topical video on out-of-place channels, but just briefly, once again, I'm 
trying to cross-reference it with the general area that you find it in and uh, the other phenomena that might be associated with this see like this kind of just like trails off and some kind of artificial channel or stretch of river it looks like to me more parallel channels here we go so there it is is it additional rice paddies or rice fields or some type of uh, coastal crop that grows well near the near the uh, water um, and it needs water to grow well, I mean <laughs> obviously but I mean it needs to be submerged in these channels to grow or this is just irrigation for something uh, these are pretty old I think these are at least from co colonial times oh, this one looking more modern maybe so 1988 and then interesting so let's see when it changes um, 2006 1999 so it looks like something was done uh, around the 90s so it looks like this this area may have been prepped around the 1990s and then yeah looking like it <clears throat> maybe prepped multiple times uh, but now it's just kind of not being used. Maybe it's there's plans to develop it soon, something like that. How about these areas? Let's check out this this area in the historical photos. See what's going on. This one looking like it might be older. So again, we might be dealing with an ongoing uh, strange artificial terraforming program, which is why we see new patterns still. And it may even use modern methods to achieve its strangeness. And it may even use um, uh, <clears throat> uh, conventional explanation, or like just like people might, it might even use like you and me to implement its weirdness without us even knowing it. Like if in, in some strange way it's possible, I mean... Again, more parallel lines here, not looking particularly practical, but looking quite a bit like those abandoned rice paddies, or alleged abandoned rice paddies. Um, find parallel grooves inland here. Uh, yeah, like just these like somewhat remote I mean, not completely remote, but <clears throat> uh, just these parallel grooves, which look a little bit too regular to be natural streaks in the river bends. And I'm not sure when they showed up like this, but they don't seem entirely practical. I could be wrong there, but seem to sh have showed up around the year 2000 or so. patchy trees areas okay uh, like what if what if earth's landscaping is on some kind of autopilot you know like just because it looks like landscaping doesn't mean it's not like these this random patch of trees like why <laughs> um, but yeah more more lines like this angular landscaping is we see that in England, we've seen it. Um, and let's try and see when it... Well, it's pretty modern, I guess. Uh, yeah, so sometime around like 2005 or whatever, we have the, the cutting of this area. Alright, whatever.
grid lines. That's interesting, but I would guess that this is modern. Well, 1988 looked fairly similar at least. I think there's new patterns showing up. Yeah, so there's might be uh, new activity over old patterns here, might be what we're seeing, or just modern activity over modern activity. These lines here, this looking more like the older patterns, but we'll see in a second. Yeah, 1988 looked relatively the same. Abandoned rice paddies, maybe. So a lot of areas are touched by this this type of pattern. Looking like a cartoonish river here to me, possibly with the straight channels here. Yep, looked the same since at least 1993. So whatever's going on here, we see kind of like a straight path cutting across here, seemingly. So my best guess is that this is both a cartoonish river and some type of artificial management of the area, whether modern or weird, or whether conventional or weird, but I'm, I'm leaning towards weird or unex unexplained by conventional explanations. Uh, this long line here, see this very long line here. I don't know if that's image stitching or what. Uh, image glitch or some type of ditch or channel. Might, mm, might be image, something with the image. Yeah, might be. Okay, but anyways, uh, I think I've saturated this conversation, but yeah, if you go looking around in Florida, we'll, you'll see more of that same type of deal, the lines and the, the channels and the straight stretches and the like a straight stretch of a natural looking river. So there's obvious modern activity in all these areas. And then my best guess to summarize is that the modern activity is over uh, a whole bunch of older patterns, like all this kind of thing. These parallel and gridded areas. I don't think this is water management merely. I don't think it's just drainage or tidal efforts to manage the tidal sh uh, swings. I don't necessarily think this is just agriculture or old agriculture. I think we're looking at some type of very goofy ongoing makeover project to shuffle shit around and make shit strange and weird. <laughs> okay, gritty area. All right, that's enough of this. Let's go to a different spot. And if we, if, just briefly, if we just looked around the Florida area, we, we would see similar stuff and the East Coast and all this looks modern, but plenty of areas around the world. Okay. Let's go back to our images real quick. Let me get, oh crap, <clears throat> get settled here. Yeah, might be a good time to take a drink of water if anyone's even watching this. <laughs> um, or just take a break, take a walk. I still have quite a bit to cover. Um, okay, India, I don't think I'm going to take you through here in Google Earth, but just the same possibilities that it's uh, 
water management or uh, some type of crop or uh, some type of ir irrigation or um, management of the coast uh, or uh, trying to prevent land loss or any number of those types of purposes and also could be part of this ongoing terraforming weirdness um, but it's it's in a, a wildlife preservation area so whatever it is that's for um, consideration could be prepping the land or uh, also some type of mining or um, not just mining precious materials but just mining like uh, silica or some type of um, ubiquitous material so they just do a whole bunch of paths pass throughs and grab up a bunch of rock and then use that rock for industrial purposes like making drywall or something who knows uh, but yeah, it kind of looks like this to, to me. There's some similarities at least. And it's in India. Part of the strangeness, maybe not. Kind of already showed you in Google Earth. So let's check out this area in Argentina. So these may be drainage. Um, uh, yeah, maybe drainage or... Uh, locomotion or pipelines or oil and natural gas ex uh, exploration and then further inland we have this kind of old grid or just a grid of parallel lines um, not sure what that's about um, and yeah let's go over here in Argentina and check it out Scroll, scroll, scroll. And it may take me a second to find it, so I apologize for that. Nope, found it right away. Cool. Um, oh, all right, so we've got this area, and let's look for where the modern settlements are, first of all. Okay, so it looks like there's people all along here. And so it would make sense that they would need some kind of drainage system. Um, I would say for the amount of uh, lines and channels in the area relative to the apparent population of this area, it seems like overkill for drainage and stuff. Again, I could be wrong, but... Um, I do slightly regret the use of the word tool mark uh, just in the early stages of looking at whatever we're looking at I didn't quite know how to contextualize it and I still really don't <laughs> but I mean we've got all these straight paths and channels that I'm kind of seeing here now like like this and all these straight areas this pretty vast area. Um, obviously some highways and modern uh, power lines and stuff in the area as well. Roads and bridges. and or Yeah, but uh, I don't know what kind of tool would have made these channels or whatever, but I, I basically just mean created by some type of artificial contrived means, not necessarily by a, like a jackhammer <laughs> or even a dredge or, um, so these, let's just briefly see how long these trenches have been here. Um, so they look, uh, my, those are, these, bleh, stumbling over my words here. These, these trenches are probably modern, um, just conventional work, I don't know. <sighs> uh, okay. You know, I'm gonna take a break, I'm getting like a little lightheaded and hoarse, so I'm gonna go take a drink and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so let's get a feel for this area. 
So a lot of channels and like these types of things, like remnants of something, and quick look back, historical photos, just to see if we can get an idea for how long it's been like that. So at least since 2003, we've had these kind of wonky, goofy patterns. Okay. And we also have like uh, these, I, I guess you wouldn't call them channels, but like these lines going across like this one, kind of, kind of like a channel, but here you can see it going across. So let's follow this. Looking at this one here and it seems to pick up pick back up again over here and also similar thing going on with this one it's just kind of a, a channel or ridge is it former coastline maybe maybe but given the other weird stuff uh, I'm not too sure okay uh, so these strange lines, all kinds of little channels and angular and straight stretches. So obviously here it's looking like a modern, a modern channel that's maintained pretty well. So probably that's probably what it is. And if you follow this, it goes for quite a long time, like, was it hundreds of miles, something like that? Uh, like this channel is um, 77 miles at least, it just keeps going and going and going. Uh, but I, I would say this is, there's a good chance this is 100% modern. Um, But just all the other stuff, the straight lines, could be exploratory, like oil and natural gas stuff, like we saw in Louisiana, or uh, um, like right here, these paths. This could even be foot trails, a lot of them. But yeah, drainage, likely, and then also some artificial, weird additional components to it, like this right here, this, just random, random lines. Um, okay, so just food for thought and just in, uh, to demonstrate that it's not just in North America and the U.S., it's in a lot of places. Okay. But it might be all drainage and all modern activity in this area. Tough to know for sure. And let's briefly look for any more goofy patterns. Yeah, like these angles. Here we go, some parallel lines. So let's look at the historical photos and see how long uh, these parallel lines have been here. So my guess is that this area looks completely different at a certain point and then uh, this artificial protocol came and like raised over it and completely revamped it. Um, and or it's just a little by little uh, slowly but surely revamping of areas 
uh, ongoing over long periods of time, that's possible as well. So either abrupt revamping or um, or slow, sl uh, more continuous revamping. But yeah, these lines bother me. Um, so yeah, whatever that is, these, these lines need to be considered. I think it's pretty obvious the whole area was worked over. Uh, could be modern, certainly. Um, here. Looking for any other weird channels like like this kind of. Circle here, this is interesting. How long has this been here? Not really getting a different look at it, unfortunately. Okay, uh, and then I also wanted to show you um, these uh, parallel lines in the river system over here. What, we're, what I'm calling faint old grid lines or what have you, but kind of, kind of like channels. They might be channels or, or levees even. Uh, Brief look at the historical photos. And it's looked like this for quite a while. And I think it's some type of older operation. And once again, it's here, right here in Argentina. Uh, let's see. Mm. Some potentially abrupt changes of direction here to the river trajectory, potentially. Uh, like, like here, like this straightish line here, like right there, maybe. Um, anything else? Just these lines, pretty large scale. I mean, I feel like a, a logging crew or any, any, anything like that could probably cover an area this size and really only a couple months, maybe even less. So it's not necessarily weirdness but it might be. So, here it is. Just seeing if we can find any other faint indications of anything strange. Okay, well, linear Okay, so here's like the natural, like a more natural looking flow to these river streaks. And then there are some parts where it looks a little more regular and artificial almost. Uh, forgive me with the, the load time. 
<laughs> and of course, a big ribbon across where I'm trying to look. Lovely. Um, yeah, I mean, maybe that I might be. Uh, this might not be super suspicious. But some of these streaks do look like uh, just oddly regular, I would say. Alright, I think we should probably wrap up this area and go somewhere else. Um, see, well, got kind of lucky here. Uh, see, I would say this is like a car uh, yeah, cartoonishly straight bit of river here. Doesn't seem to be a conventional channel that was dug in modern times. It's just like a stretch of river that's like straight and then it bends at this almost at an angle here. Um, seems a little odd to me and like these somewhat abrupt uh, edges. So where was that right here? Like this here, this might just be rivers, the river edge, the possible straight thing there. See, here's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing like this is like straightish, and it kind of continues like this, and it it just irks me a bit. Like it looks like some type of, or or I mean this could be continue this way it looks like yeah it looks like that might be the case this way this way. but some s potentially straight-ish river bends that may be indicative of goofy channel work or artificial weirdness Yeah, maybe this whole river system as well, but maybe not. It's tough to say. Okay. Um, straight edge here, almost. Slightly odd. Let's go to a different area. Okay, so this... Iraq. Okay, so these grooves um, along the edge of this lake could just be dredging. Uh, a little weird. Um, yeah, so I guess these next couple images would be like uh, potentially artificial coastlines here. So, uh, Laguna Beach, I'm not going to show you in Google Earth, but yeah, showed this already. Might be some type of weird channel. Yonaguni, uh, maybe we'll go look here real quick. Uh, Northwest Island, yeah, we'll go look here. Um, but let's go to this one in Iraq first. See, these grooves not looking to me like they are uh, part of a dredge of the coastline. Like here, you can make it the case that it's like to maintain the coastline, but here it's like cutting into the land, which is a little weird. It's like, is this an aquatic vehicle or a land vehicle that did this, you know? Um, but, all right, let's uh, go to Google Earth. And I believe they are I can even find a rock. Here it is, I think. Like right here. I think. Okay, so this lake, the edge of it. And these potentially angular aspects to it, like, what is this? It's like either some kind of old structure or some type of old operation going on here. And I don't think the historical photos are going to help us much here. It's 
This might be drainage. Yeah. Um, but yeah, here's those lines looking similar to the almost to the lines we see in the uh, Mauritania, like one of the first videos I made. Long walls or remnants of channels near Rashad structure, or whatever that was called. Possible tick mark there as well. And here we go. So it's obvious that something is doing this. It's just the question is, is it modern dredging? Let me see the continuation of it there. Or some type of industrial stuff? Or is it more in the vein of this artificial weirdness thing that I'm talking about? Uh, yeah, here's a channel with some spoil banks here. A lot of those little channels in the area. And it's not getting great resolution here. <sighs> Earthworks patterns, perhaps. Let's see what these look like in the historical photos. 2003, that doesn't tell us much. I mean, there, there does seem to be quite a bit of industrial activity in this area. But this could also be weirdness. I think. Uh, like this vast worked over area. I'm on the fence as to whether that's just modern stuff or whether it's strangeness. Probably modern. Then, mm, straight line there, there. Okay, um, patchy old grid. Maybe. Linear channel across. Okay, so yeah, more of the, uh, coastline here being chunked at or uh, channeled through across um, and it could just be from changing water level like this didn't used to be the coastline this used to be land recently it's possible but you can't see much in google earth historical photos so But yeah, here we see the continuation of that channel or whatever it is. Something old and weird or something newish. I don't know. Old grid. Tough to say what that's for. And this may even be part of it as well. Some image issues here. Um... Yeah, so whatever's doing these channels, I couldn't tell you, but, um, like right here even, is that, am I seeing things right there, maybe? Um, okay, and then this other, like, I was considering that, uh, I was seeing some indications of the artificial sculpting of the coastlines, possibly, like, um, some some of the coast is looking more like a path to me, like some type of traced path rather than just natural coastline. So let's see if I can find some of what I was looking at. I guess mm, like this almost not eh, tough to say. Linear channel there, possibly. Maybe not. 
edge of path. Kind of. Could be in the natural land or whatever. Um, but yeah, whatever, whatever that was, maybe some old channels, maybe not, I don't know. Okay. What else do we have? We had, so this is what I would expect a natural coastline to look like, like all fractal and, um, not super uh, smoothly carved out like some of the places we see but I guess there's different conditions in different areas what am I saying here oh these riverways are all patchy could just be old farms similar looking to Madagascar what we have going on with the rivers there so it could just be river agriculture here. Oh, these, these are looking like dried up rivers. So I'm kind of working over. Okay. Uh, I was going to show you rock. We're going to be just skip that. Yonaguni. Yeah, let's look at this real quick. Yonaguni and Northwest Island. Okay, here's Yonaguni Island and possible channel across. Could just be different differential erosion, um, like a, a streak of different material that erodes away quicker, or just the way the, the material cracks and erodes along the crack. But that might be some kind of channel there. Um, also, we have stuff like this here, which could be modern work, probably. Uh, what else? Mm, that's just, I think that's just cracks in the material or the rock. Uh, this channel here, which may be to service whatever's right here, or drainage or something. Historical photos are not helpful. And nice little cloud where I'm trying to look. Um, yeah, I mean, it's tough to say. Like, even this looks like angular to me. Like this, you get a better angle on it. So like, like this here, and like this angle here or straight thing. It's tough because there's so much modern activity, like this modern barrier here. And uh, so we can't really know how much is modern artificial stuff and how much is something else. But these, these grooves looking kind of angular to me. This looking like almost like something cut across here. And cut may be the wrong word, but uh, manip manipulated somehow. Possible chunk out of the coast here. Almost looks like it. Like, sh sh looks like it to me. And again, could just be that differential, differentially differentially eroding bedrock layers <clears throat> and in Yonaguni we also have that underwater landmark the, the strange thing that everyone talks about um, just for reference 
All right, let's go to, um, well, linear cut. Let me check this out real quick. Long grooves along coast. Yeah, it could be like, this could be a channel of some kind. Ah, not a great example, but uh, yeah, okay. Um, let's go to that Northwest Island in Australia. Okay, so it's here on the, uh, I guess, the east side of Australia. And not much going on here. It's like a, a coral atoll, basically. And we have this island. Not a whole lot going on. Maybe some little settlements here. But uh, what I want to point out is this path here. Obviously it's linear, uh, but it could be an access channel to access the coast, because I don't know if these, uh, looks like there might be something going on there. Um, these areas might be pretty shallow, which makes it unsafe for boats, so they have to cut a channel to make uh, for easy access. It could be. Um, could be that, or can I also notice this right here, this path, or some type of something? Looks a little odd, could be natural. But just again, the idea that something is sculpting these areas. And maybe look at any other place marks in the area. This is probably just the natural layers that are eroding. Discontinuous tool gap. Let's try that. So here's an example. Potential um, little channel here like this, I don't know, a path or something, and even like this almost angular thing there. Could be these guys doing whatever they're doing, but this is something we see quite a bit like across the edge of a coast. So there seems to be some kind of path sometimes. All right. Let's check out any other place marks in the area that might be relevant. Faint path across shore. It's probably a similar thing. I'm not seeing it. I guess I'm talking about like this. Looks like it might be the natural layers. Let's skip that one. Path, path. Mm. See, I'm kind of seeing like a gap here in the middle of this. I might be wrong, but. Yeah, it looks like, it looks like kind of like two rails along a, I mean, it resembles two rails along a, a a gap in, in the middle of them, like a bowling alley type thing, or like with the bumpers up, just in resemblance. Um, so it's looking like some type of hollow path or in the middle of it is recessed. Looks like some type of path maybe. And this maybe like this edge right here, potentially. This potentially straight path here, or just a crack in the rock, I don't know. 
wide clean toolpath. Let's check that out. Uh, that's probably just an access channel or mm, who knows. What do we got over here? Oh, Northwest Island already did that. Um, okay, that's enough for this area. Gap, what's the gap? Mm, not too compelling. Yeah, I still consider that some of these inlets may be like manufactured somehow, but I can't really make a super strong argument for that. So, at least on some of the cases, some look, some some are kind of more suspicious looking than others. Obviously, wide toolpath along the coast maybe. Here we have kind of like an angular, abrupt edge almost, perhaps. And this may be some type of something. No, probably not. This right here is a little odd. This is slightly strange. Okay, I'm boring the hell out of you. Um, let me try and f get through these. Lake Superior. Um, I don't know if there's anything else to look at in this area, but I think I already made the comments I need to make on this, so that might be an out of place channel. Let's let's take a look real quick in Google Earth. Okay, so here's Lake Superior, one of the Great Lakes, and that groove we're looking at is just right here. And sometimes these fingers of land bother me a little bit. They could be modern um, something or others, modern efforts, modern uh, barriers, or but a lot of times they don't look like constructed they look kind of natural it's like a weird finger of land um, I may be 100% wrong on that but just considering the possibility that some of this is artificially edited like you see this so is that dredge work it could be um, so it's worth noting that this is a uh, a lake area, so it's not as dynamic as the, the coastal ocean areas. So I don't know that you would need to do as much maintaining of the coast. <clears throat> but yeah, here we see more of it, the uh, pretty clear path around the edge of the coast here. So something was certainly tracing the path. Uh, I, I don't know if I could say certainly, but it, it rather appears that something was tracing this path here and going along the coast, coasts, coastlines, making, uh, digging a trench or whatever it's doing. And if it's just conventional modern stuff, then I don't know. But since the Wikipedia says this is a natural meadow, kiltless meadow, I, I I get to wondering, start wondering, like even this little island here. So yeah, still considering that some of these areas might be artificially machined coastline or whatever. 
linear feature. So there's, yeah, a linear feature, okay. Looks like it might be like a fissure in the rock or something. The, the bedrock. We have another here. Yeah, it looks like it might be that. And this is one I would say, like this island, like just subjectively looks sculpted kind of. You can see the continuation of it there. Uh, but then I, I can't really present any strong evidence for that. It just kind of looks like that to my eye. All right, uh, that's maybe I'll do a, another episode on the Great Lakes later, but um, let's move on. Where else were we going to look at? Iraq. Okay, I think this is the last one I show, want to show in this video. So this long channel in Iraq, Iraq, however you pronounce it. Uh, it's pretty, there's quite a few of these and they're kind of long and they don't appear to be in use. They do start and stop. They don't have water in them. Um, and then the surrounding area also looks pretty worked over as well, which is to be considered. Uh, and then uh, this image I just bring up to show the similarity between spoil banks and these most likely modern channels and also, uh, this image has kind of what might be spoil banks or, or spoil mounds along the side of it from when it was dug, whenever that is. But uh, there doesn't, I mean, maybe it's just the, the coloration of the image, but there doesn't appear to be much water in these channels. So, uh, and they kind of trail off and fizzle out like the, the channel doesn't reach a, a definitive destination, it appears, at least in Google Earth. So let's go over there and look. Okay. Iraq. And maybe just scrub ahead as I get situated here. So it's this area of Iraq. Uh, Kind of like right here, we have a bunch of these channels. Or actually, it might be up here. Crap. <laughs> Can't remember. I'll find it in a second. I think it's up here. Yeah, here we go. So it's this area of Iraq. And this guy, so this channel looking slightly out of place. Um, let's look at one end of it and then follow it. So it doesn't really seem to reach a particularly climactic destination. It just kind of fizzle, fizzles out like this. And it's just a channel and it's interrupted by well, other channel work and roads and stuff. Um, like even this one, I, I wasn't I'm not sure what that is. Hmm, is this a road? Might be. But yeah, the the hills in the area are heavily worked over. I don't know if that's mining or whatever, but. It's a pretty vast area that you see that. And the channel continuing, starting and stopping, interrupted by other stuff. So it's not a continuous water channel. So whatever it is, it's not appearing to be used anymore. Here it uh, this looks like it might be a labor crew. So maybe they're doing all this stuff. Let's look at a quick historical photo. <laughs> I 
How funny. Like, right? It might just be the way Google loads their images, but <laughs> it just coincidentally seems to have a little glitch right in the center of where you're trying to focus on. But, uh, yeah, there's that pile, that worked over pile, whatever that is, and the worked over land in the surrounding area. Uh, so, scrapey, scratchy, scrape up the land or gouge it, um, bulldoze it, whatever's going on here. And not seeming to do much of much, just like a channel that starts and stops and doesn't carry any water. It's possible that it's like an underground thing, like an underground pipeline or something. Like here's a road and it just stops here and starts over here again. But then we have many of these uh, channels. Turning here. And I don't know what this is. I, I asked around on Google Earth Pro Boards and uh, Quora as well and didn't get any really good answers. Here's some parallel grooves for what it's worth. Um, yeah, I didn't really get anything definitive. Someone said something intelligent, which was that these uh, s like splatter piles on the side. This might be from the when the channel f at one point was filled with water and then overflowed and then the the banks on the edge of it kind of just oozed out onto the side. So that's why we see this kind of splatter here on the side of it or what looks like splatter piles or something. But uh, where's another one? Here's another one here. Just, it's this long and that's it. So it doesn't seem to carry water any significant distance. Uh, it just kind of like starts here. Um, yeah, starts here. And you kind of see those splatter or I see it kind of stops here and then picks it back up again here uh, of the material on the side. Uh, the spoil spoil banks or whatever. So I don't know. This could just be one long uh, dredge, like of some type of mining activity or something. Or maybe it was like a channel that got planned and then canceled for some modern purpose. But here's another one. Well, let's look at this one in historical photos real quick, just so you um, get an idea for what it's looked like. 1984. Uh, I don't see it, so it might be new, but the image quality is so bad that it's tough to say. 1991. Don't appear to see it, so it looks like it might show up around 1995 or so, but it's just like the image quality is so bad. 93, we see it. Yeah, I mean, it's very difficult to say. This channel, yeah, they might be new. They, they might be in the last 20 to 30 years. I'm just wondering what they are. Like this, what the heck is that? <laughs> just like a little... And then the whole area is very worked over, if, you've, if, if you're noticing. I mean, who knows? Maybe there's some ongoing effort to compact the sand so that sandstorms aren't uh, so... Um, detrimental or whatever, or intense, but I don't know, here's another channel, your guess is as good as mine, here we see some actual water in it, I think, continuing, continuing, crossroads and stuff, and then just kind of fizzles out over here, I don't know, uh, another one over here,
kind of holes and mounds and stuff. Yeah, let's follow this one. And it looks like it just peters out right there. Whole area is patchy, could be modern, certainly, certainly so. I rather suspect that this whole area is uh, worked over or, um, yeah, like sculpted is what I'm looking for. Like these areas look sculpted to me. Like, like see this, it's like the edge of a sculpt maneuver or the end of a sculpt maneuver almost to me, like here, here as well. Uh, let's see if I have any good place marks. Dots and dashes, what do we got there? Yeah, dots and dashes. Mounds, bumps, whatever you want to call it. Uh, yeah, like this looking like a pretty well-defined edge of something. So I'm saying this, this whole rocky mountainous area. And as I say that, there's a freaking mine nearby. So maybe it's all their work. Um, yeah, I don't know, but, uh, Indentations, mini craters. Let's see what we got here. Little indentations here. Quite a few of those actually. Little bumps or uh, dense indentations. Oh, goofy stone walls like in Jordan. And remember that heart at the end of a line thing I was talking about? This is kind of similar like in some places you have like one line with a, a heart shape um, along the coast that I was talking about. Uh, and some places you have like two lines going into a heart. And this is kind of similar to that pattern we see uh, underwater on some coastlines. It's like just this goofy stone pattern with weird um, little nublets at the end. Uh, this is very similar to what we see in Jordan. Um, yeah, goofy stone walls in the area. Just here, here, here. And yeah, I'm saying this is like what we see in the Jordan kites covered on the New Earth channel and the whole area looking potentially worked over as well. Or artificially edited, given a makeover. However you want to terminologize it. Let's see, another derpy stone circle formation. So yeah, just these goof gooflets with these angular little strange patchy things and goofy ridges and wall or ridge. So yeah, I'm still fairly uh, uh, let me try and phrase this strategically or carefully. I'm still fairly confident that there is a strong possibility that a significant percentage of Earth's surface is artifi edited in a very strange way, which is the tooling of Earth premise, kind of. Although it's much more than that now with all the, or I'm, I'm getting into, trying to get into more of the big picture, the big picture stuff, like wh why this might have been done and, and how it fits into human affairs and archaeology. A lot of, uh, um, a lot of archaeology stuff and uh, structures and buildings. I'll be covering a lot of that stuff soon. But, uh, yeah, this whole area may have been worked over in a strange way, not just by modern crews. We've got all these little mounds here, which 
I don't know, could be anything, piles. Uh, just giving you an idea of the general surrounding area. And the patchy patterns, I'm still on the fence about. Could be underlying patterns. Uh, oh, uh, over here we had some type of... Uh, Uh, so like this pattern, I think we're in Syria now. These might all be spoil, spoil banks or spoil bumps from when all this weirdness is configured by modern work, modern farming and stuff. It's very possible. Best area of worked over land. So this is all the way over into Syria, and potential stone circles as well. Yeah, here we go. The, uh, uh, don't tell me you stopped recording, please. Oh, crap. Oh, I think we're still recording, are we? Sorry. <laughs> um, let me, I just have to double check on this real quick, just to make sure it's actually recording. Blah, blah. Okay, sorry about that. Back to Google Earth Pro. And yeah, more of these goofy... This is all the way over in Syria, I think. Yeah, yeah, Syria. So we were in Iraq looking at potential ch um, these channels over here. Now we've got the stone weird patterns in Jordan and Syria. Stone circles, the goofy patterns. And... So yeah, here's the stone circles uh, all up and down here. So these, this like trail of uh, bumps or uh, mounds or circles or craters, whatever we could call it, it's like, it's pretty large scale and I don't think it's a, any kind of modern activity. Uh, it could be volcanic even, but we've got all kinds of strange patterns in the area and then uh, the stone circles also so I think the stone circle might serve as a calling card if that makes sense I don't know if that I've, if I've mentioned that but yeah stone circle stone circle the wavy mature type pattern possibly uh, and these weird crater things Uh, some kind of mounds, earthworks, uh, who knows, that could be modern even, but, uh, uh, squiggly land, kind of, and like little patterns like this, chunked out, patchy, yeah, I'm gonna place mark that real quick. And uh, just the general, many general areas. Okay, this is kind of a new area for me, but yeah, worked over patchy chunky weirdness. Worked over patchy chunky weirdness. Um, also, you probably already know this, but uh, just the arrow key on your keyboard is uh, it. Uh, either left or right, you can fast forward or rewind five seconds. So when it gets like super slow for a second, you can just tap the right key and uh, it'll um, fast forward five seconds. Uh, so you, you don't have to watch every little uh, boring transition or whatever if I'm adding a place mark or something. And I want to see if these any of these stone walls are new real quick. Maybe, tough to say, 2004, 2011, looking pretty, uh, I think 2011 here, pretty similar, f at least since 2011. So the question is, are these people, is this working over the land, is that these people's work, or just modern human work? 
Or is it some kind of very strange weirdness? More of it. Yeah, just... Alright. Um, okay, do I want to show you any more of those channels, any rock? I suppose I could. But... Uh, Probably going to wrap up this video in a minute. Just seeing if there's any other strange stuff I want to point out. Patchy patterns, interesting patterns. Maybe. Okay, here's another long channel. I don't think I touched on this one yet. But there it is. Kind of fizzles out. And uh, picks up again over here. After crossing the road. Kind of faint. And then... Oh, maybe I did show this one. Yeah, crap. Okay, trailing off anticlimactically as usual, and um, signing off maybe, unless I see something to point out. Old grid squiggly pattern. Or, uh, let me do a quick look back in time here. This might just be modern activity. If I'm not mistaken, I saw some changes to the patternation, the patterning over historical photos in some area. Um, I may be not remembering correctly, but the lump, these lumpy bumps do uh, irk me. It's like a pre-working over of the land before modern human era. I think, and very similar to what we see in Bolivia and Jordan and elsewhere. Um, okay, uh, in the next episode we will talk about the, I think, yeah, the San Andreas Fault, we'll talk about that area and then we'll look at it in Google Earth. We'll look at this Utah example, some other California stuff for reference. And then uh, I think we'll end with this one in the next episode. All right. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.